Neil from Essex here to do a little bit of science with you today. We're going to discuss today your four-wheel drive on your tractor or frankly any off-road equipment and the lead that is often found in the front tire. It is typically normal in all of this equipment for the front tires in your four-wheel drive to spin faster than what your rear tires do. It's called a lead. And we had an interesting comment thrown down in the comments by a gentleman named Bill. Bill noticed one time that when he dropped the pressure in his rear tires, that he felt that chatter in the four-wheel drive. That tension comes when the wheels are spinning at different speeds in a different way. So today we're gonna do a little bit of testing here. We're gonna go around and take some chalk mark the ground on these tires, do some traveling, measure what that four-wheel drive lead is, and then see if we're able to manipulate that by changing our tire pressure. Messix, a helping hand with your land. Now first, a quick conversation on tire pressure. We're gonna start here by taking a tire pressure gauge and checking the tire pressure on the side of the tire and filling both the front and the rear tire to the maximum recommended pressure that's on the side of the tire. Well, this is great for getting a tire to hold its shape and not push off the bead. It's not the best when it comes to getting traction. It's very normal, especially up in bigger farm tractors, to drop the tire pressure well down below what you might find on that sidewall. In some cases, is even down into the single digits on your rear tire. It gives you a much bigger contact patch down on the ground. It's gonna make your tractor ride better. It gets you more traction by getting more of these ag tread lugs down into the ground. So there's a lot of reasons to drop that tire pressure down, but we're gonna do our initial test here to manage the intent, to measure the intended lead at the factory set tire pressures here off the sidewall. So we're learning as we go, because <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what all this is gonna show. So it's gonna be interesting one way or the other. Um, I've taken a piece of chalk here and marked a line there on the ground where my tire is sitting. I have a line there on the tire as well. We're gonna do our first test here in two wheel drive to try to see to get an idea of the distance one tire rotation travels without that impact from the front axle, either pulling or pushing the tractor one way or the other. So we're gonna start there and take a measurement. All right, so in two-wheel drive, we traveled 13 feet, one inch. All right, so we'll go back to our mark and then try it in four-wheel drive. So now for our next test, we're gonna put the tractor into four-wheel drive, repeat the same thing here. Tire pressure's being equal, we should see a difference here. So we're learning as we go. <laughs> as we're going front and back here, uh, we're noticing that our, our line now is not returning to the same spot when I drive back again. And interestingly enough, the difference here between this line and this line is about this six inch mark that we're noticing here should be approximately what our lead is. So I actually got to go to my tire here and try to erase my first chalk mark on here. We're gonna make a new one on here now in order to measure when we change our tire pressure and see what the difference in this is gonna be. Now, you know, as this is driving along, because this front tire is spinning faster than the back tire, it is literally dragging the back tires along, which is why we get a longer measurement. Now we're gonna go here and drop the tire pressure in this back tire. If you think of the tire here as a balloon a little bit, allowing that tire kind of to, to shrink back down, even just a little bit, should impact this measurement and it should require more dragging of that back tire because it's now smaller in order to make that full rotation. So, new chalk mark, gonna drop some tire pressure here, probably about, uh, we're gonna go down to 10 pounds and check and see what kind of difference it makes. So our next fact finding, two wheel drive, 
Now 10 PSI in the rear tires, and we're gonna see whether having that now smaller rear tire creates a shorter travel distance to our lines. In theory, if any of this is correct and the size of this tire has changed at all, we should have a mark here that's before the first one that we made. And now four-wheel drive with low tire pressure. So if we look at our chicken scratch here on the ground and recognizing that this is not the world's best science, you can see here that while the tire inflation probably may have changed the size of the tire to a point, it wasn't changing it enough in order to make significant impacts on the math. This one way or the other here is a difference of maybe 1% one way or the other. And what's considered an acceptable lead on your tractor is really anywhere between about zero and five. You wouldn't want to be at the upper bounds. That's the point that you're going to notice a lot more binding in that four wheel drive shaft. But you shouldn't have to worry about your tire inflation pressure pushing your lead out of spec. That doesn't mean though that there's not cases where you should be aware of this. As tractors age over time, it's very normal for people to go through two sets of front tires to one set of rear tires. The fronts will wear faster because of this lead. As you're driving along, these tires are under tension. They're forced to spin against the asphalt. And if you're working on these hard surfaces a lot, you can see that wear. We will see tractors at of seven, 800 hours sometimes that spend a lot of their life on asphalt, seeing this tread worn down quite a bit. And when it comes to replacing these front tires, keeping the measurements in mind and this intended lead is really important. If you go to a tire supplier and they sell you a tire that is slightly off of the intended measurement here, you could do a lot of damage to your tractor's four-wheel drive system. Having a lead that's too great or too little is putting constant tension on those four-wheel drive components and can lead to premature wear and things being torn apart. So it is normal here in our shops when we're going through and replacing tires on tractors, we would do a chalk test like this, physically marking the floor and making sure when those tires are rotating, they're traveling their intended distances. So that's a little bit on four-wheel drive lead. You can feel this, right? You kick that tractor in four-wheel drive and go do some donuts on the asphalt. You're gonna feel that front end chatter. And having that front tire there kind of spinning a little bit faster helps to pull that front end around, makes your machine a little bit more maneuverable and is intended. So if you're shopping for a piece of equipment that we can help, or if you've got parts and service needs for a machine you've already got, give us a call at Messix. We're available at 800-222-3373 or online at messix.com. Oh yeah, it's before it. Right there. It's, it's basically the same difference, but it definitely moved. <laughs>